Now we're looking at a pink satin quilt, which is pretty bodacious, if you ask me. And I think it was pretty bodacious at the time, too. Um, this was made uh, by my great Aunt Sue, and she was married to Uncle Raymond. Um, they lived in the Tree Streets. There, all of ETSU campus uh, was part of my family property. It was the original land grant, the Lyle property, and all the property across the street, Mountain Home. All of that was um, Lyle farmland. Um, so, uh, Uncle Raymond Lyle and Aunt Sue um, lived there on Pine Street and my father was taking care of his mother uh, I think while all the brothers were at war World War II and he was the last brother left so by that point they had passed a law that you couldn't draft all the men from a large family farm the last the last man uh, got a deferment because somebody has to stay home and milk the cows and grow the food to feed everybody. So that fell on my dad and uh, so he was taking care of his mother and he would take her around on Sunday afternoons to go visit all the other relatives up and down the tree streets. They all, uh, it was a big family and they all lived in that area. So, but, but one of uh, his mother's sister, when, when my mom and dad uh, got married, she made these satin quilts. And it's, a, it's satin, pink satin on both sides. Um, I think it has wool inside. And the design is hand-stitched, which is a pretty good trick, all in all. And um, like I say, it was... It's bodacious now, and it had to have been bodacious then. Would this have been um, expensive, considering that it was satin? The fabric, sure. The fabric would have been very expensive. See, there's no... Uh, well, there is a seam down the middle. Yeah, so that's... I think, I guess that's just how wide the fabric was. Um, but yeah, to have that much satin that's not pieced, and it's on, and, and it's on both sides, too. See, there's not like a backing, a cheaper backing cloth. It's satin on both sides. So, uh, I mean, Aunt Sue must have really cared for my dad to do that. <laughs>